Hello friends! For today's video we are going to show you how to style a bar part. Now just a quick disclaimer, I've watched a few videos out there on YouTube and read a few uh, articles online and a lot of bar carts I saw were very much styled which made them look pretty but they weren't actually practical or usable. So today's is not going to be super over style but it's going to be a usable cart for you when you have to entertain people or just to set aside for yourself just for a casual look. Here's our cart for today. I'm going to walk you through and explain like my thought process processes behind each step that I took. But I will start out and say that you should check out the blog post because there will be links to some art um, elements and designs and principles that will help guide you through this as well. So let's start, shall we? First of all, we started with a theme and our theme was to work with gold and black. The cart that we got originally was silver and I just spray painted it to a gold and a lot of the accessories here were also spray painted gold so that we'd have a continuous theme. So let's start with the top. I always want to have something lively up here. It creates height. Some of this will turn into more dried pieces. Obviously the gladiolus we will have to remove because they won't dry nicely. If, once you move down from here, of course, we created some at a height with this little cake tray down here and a gold vase. We have a candle there just for looks, nothing major. I did pick up this fabric over here that I laid across like this. I kept it at this length, that way it doesn't get under the wheels, so you can still move the cart, but that adds just a little bit of texture and dimension to the cart. Moving across to here, we have a decanter, diamond shape, really pretty. <laughs> this is Artega's equipment. Artega, tell us a little about this. This is your bartending kit, starter kit. You have your shakers, you got your jiggers, um, you have a hard throwing strainer. That's your cocktail shaker, Boston. And I did get it in gold, so it matched. Thanks. Here is another decanter. Love this one. This one's my favorite. It is a heart shaped decanter. Now you will notice a lot of lines going throughout. You have the lines in the cart. I made sure the decanter had certain kinds of lines, and then you have some of the dramatic lines in the leaves from the gladiolus. That kind of helps your eye trail through the cart. And we'll move to the bottom shelf here. Oh, the books. All right, take a pick these books out, why? Because they're bartending and bar related to bar carts and. <laughs> exactly, that works perfectly. We also used it just to add a little bit of height. So putting them on their side. Again, using that line, we have some lines that are going more vertical, but then some that are going horizontal as well. So it gives it a little bit of change so not everything is the same. Once we work down here, you're going to see the lines in this wine holder. Again, mimicking the lines in the dispenser and the cart itself. Here are some wine options. That I know nothing about. That's all Ortega. <laughs> I don't drink. The, um, we just have this little tray here just to give it some added height. The one complaint I had about this cart is it doesn't have three shells, which makes it a little harder for design and just to have all your equipment there that you would need. So I just added this little shelf. No big deal, just helps support it a little bit. Um, here is some more alcohol over here. This green bottle just really stood out to me and I was a big fan of that. And on the bottom of the cart, I noticed in a lot of videos, they didn't style the bottom of the carts very well. They did immaculate things with the top, but when they moved down to the bottom, they didn't do too much. And I can understand why, because there's not as much space to work with, but I did want to make it at least a little pretty. So I made sure to organize our, the glassware into, what are these glasses, Artega? Those are, what are those? Rocks glasses. And, and those are shot glasses. Woo! Wine. Awesome. So I have a little bit of everything over here and just, it's upside down. That way it doesn't collect dust on the interior. Now, I mean, we just have a little cutting board back there again with the gold trim along the sides, continuing the theme down to the bottom of the cart. And of course, obviously the fabric's trailing down there as well. It's just, for a little added texture, keeps your eye going from top to bottom. And overall, I know it's not super overstyled like some of the videos or pictures you'll see online, but it does make it usable, which is the big thing we wanted to go for. It's a cart that is accessible and usable. And I also made sure, and I should point this out, when it comes to doing the top of the cart, I didn't put too much on there that I can't remove off. That way, if for whatever reason, I need to use this as an actual cart to deliver food or something, it's not a big deal just to remove some things and use it for that as well. So this is your style bar cart that is uh, easy to use and is ready to go for entertaining or any other purpose you need it for. 
I hope you like it. Well, that was our video today. Thank you for checking it out. I hope you liked it. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram. And I'll see you next time, friends. Bye.